Hello and welcome to the International School of Traders. Uh, welcome, welcome, guys. My name is Mudrun Tiana, and today uh, is our Tuesday Market Watch. This is where we come and show you what trades are we looking at in the market. If you guys can hear me loud and clear, just drop it in the chat, drop it in the comments so you can hear me loud and clear. Uh, let me just check here. Let's check here. Okay. Now, today is Tuesday, so we are looking to see what the market has for us today. Let me try and change the cap and see how it looks, guys. Okay, cool. So you're clear. Thank you so much. Now, let's go into the market. We're going to discuss the news, and then we're going to discuss the trades. Before we get into that, I'd like to remind all of you guys that this coming Saturday, I'll be having a one-on-one -on -one session uh, with uh, a lot of you that are coming uh, to, are you on the live? So that we are uh, inviting you guys, this coming Saturday, I'll be having uh, less than 10 people uh, in the office. The whole day I'll be trading and showing you how to trade, blah, 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 blah. But also we do have an ongoing conference. We do have an ongoing conference, it's a Forex conference. Every evening we are having a class here at the International School of Traders. Uh, it's, it's, it's knowledge practicals, knowledge practicals, knowledge practicals. Uh, let's get into what do we have today uh, in the market. Let me just go quickly. So we're gonna look at what the market has for us in terms of the news items, right? Uh, earlier we have received some of the news, but let me discuss, let me focus on what's coming up today. We do have imports at half past two, uh, that's US yes, imports. Then we do have exports also. Those figures will be released at half past two, and then we do have the trade balance, uh, trade balance in the US that will also be uh, released uh, later on this afternoon. Also the same thing with um, uh, the Canadian dollar. We do have imports, uh, we do have, uh, uh, we do have imports, we do have exports, we do have the trade balance. And then later on, we do have Red Book and other news later on, the ISM manufacturing PMI, and you know, uh, all of those figures will be released later on. Uh, but we also know that with South African, uh, okay, in South Africa, we are going to be looking at the monetary policy uh, review. Uh, South African Reserve Bank will be delivering that information to us later on today. Now, uh, let us go straight into the market. Uh, I want to discuss some ideas with you guys. I'm going to start off with. Um, uh, so I'm going to start off with uh, GBPSD. Uh, GBPSD is a very beautiful trade uh, that we've been discussing for a while. And uh, yeah, this trade, this, uh, this, this, this is what we've been looking at for a while now. But let me just look at what's going on with the market. So we know that the market is turned out to be very bearish, uh, right? Let's look at the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame also is also giving us some very positive. Uh, yeah, we can look at the bearish market and all of that. Uh, still on a bearish market, even though we can break, you know, we can have a little bit of a breakout and all of that, but I'm still having the idea of saying that we are in a bearish market. Uh, okay, and then, um, cool. Using Fibonacci, there's nothing going on here, so I'm not gonna take a trade. Using Fibonacci, there's nothing going on. So GPSD, what do I have? I think, I believe that, I believe that at the moment, we are at a resistance, a very beautiful resistance. There's confluence and stuff. There's also a key bar there, but uh, and for our time right? But now, uh, market is still uh, at a resistance. At resistance, there is a breakout that we are seeing. Is it a true breakout? We should see in smaller time frames. And I don't believe it's 
So yet there is no confirmation that the pericarp is true. Uh, it's not confirmation yet. And then, so let's look at what's going on on GP, and not GP, USD, I'm not gonna do anything. USD JPY, uh, USD JPY, uh, looking at what the market has been doing the last couple of weeks, guys. Uh, it's beautiful market structure, which is a bullish market structure here. And then uh, what are we looking here? Uh, so I did mention that this is a very strong bullish market, but at the moment we want to do what? We want to take uh, some short position uh, to trust the downside because of the because of how the market is looking, right? And the 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 lower, what's the lowest we can go here? Uh, is it is actually something like this. Right? But this is a bullish market. So in a bullish market, we are looking for what for a buy position. But if you are looking to sell here, we can sell all the way down to the 61.8, right? And yet we can have a sell here and sell all the way down to the 61.8. Now let's go to one hour frame. Um, whatever the case would be later on, uh, I'm looking to sell here at 23.6, uh, 23.6 at the moment, or even higher than that, right? I'm ready to sell here or even here, right? And then uh, all the way down. So this is my expectation looking at this market, uh, expecting markets to go all the way down. 261 So if I place a sell limit order, and I place it at this level. Okay, cool. And then this is what you will do. You want to put in the stop loss. Uh, let's put. Uh, Five nine three for now. Yeah. So what we want to have here, it's just to, we're going to do this later on. What we want to have here, we're going to press the limit at this level, have a very safe stop loss around this rate, and then do what? Then sell to us at that side. That's the reason why we should just sell here. Right? That's the reason why. And looking at XAUSD, right? We saw it broke a breakout, right? A very beautiful breakout, but you know what the banks do, guys. You know what the banks and the big institutions do. What they want to do is to fake you into a very uh, into a buy situation, and then they go south. Then they fake you into a sell situation, and they go up. So we know that uh, what we want to do is we want to buy low and sell up. That is why I do not like the breakout strategy. Uh, uh, many people are talking about you know, it's breakout to this, to this, etc. But I do not like the breakout strategy because it does give us, you know, those things. So, um, breakout, market breakout, then fail to retest them. Yeah. Let's look at this market here. And so, looking at this market, uh, what we should be thinking is uh, this is now a part, not a buy, right? Obviously, I'm looking to buy here. Obviously, obviously, but I must buy with caution, guys. If, if I'm taking a buy, let me see what's going on here. Which one is this one? <laughs> the reason, the only reason why I would buy is this one. 
the only reason why I would do the 61.8. This is, let's go to a 15 minute time frame, right? 15 minute time frame, the great. But the only reason why I would buy is the 61.8. I do have some good trades here, so suffer this. Yeah. So that, that, that's the only reason I'm buying. It's on the 15 minute time frame. But it's not written in stone that this market is not going to come down, right? This market can still come down. Um, this market can still come down. I'm very confident in what I'm seeing here. Uh, what I'm seeing here, there is a high chance that you're going to do that. Yeah, very trusting. Trust the trust. Trust the trust. So, very important. So sometimes you have to, you know, the reason why, okay, this is the low that we are buying at, that's the reason why. Uh, remember in a bullish market, we have higher highs and higher lows, because we are buying at, we are buy only low. This is a low for me. This is uh, higher highs. So this is a low I'm expecting. For those who were here yesterday, uh, I mean, I can use this as my A, B, C, D, E, I'm buying at E2. It's, it's, it's very rare to find a trader to share with you the knowledge. And after sharing with you the knowledge, you practice the same thing. Some of you guys are following scammers out there. Uh, you know, some other scammers are, 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 are good scammers, right? Like, they are good scammers. What they will do is, they send you a PDF for 5,000 rand. They say, join a group. And then they give you some worthless signals. And you don't know, you know, you don't even know what's going on. But that's not what we do here at the International School of Traders. Uh, we give you what? We give you knowledge, we give you practice, we give you knowledge, we practice. That's what we want to do as well. Let me check on the comments. Um, thanks for the invite. Got you. Tabonzo, how are you doing? Good. You're the only one who's opening the time, so I can only greet you. Uh, you are special today. <laughs> sure, sure. Now let's go into the market. Uh, remember, guys, nothing is written in stone. You can still hit stop loss, but the greatest thing is to know how to do it and understand why you made that loss. Now, I, I I wanted to put this line like this one, but I think this one is more proper. This is on the US decade on a four hour time frame, right? Now, um, on a weekly analysis, I discussed this situation. I remember, discussed this situation. Now, I was telling my student that there's a high chance that you're gonna sell here, but I believe that uh, that is something that came to mind. We're gonna sell here. So the reason why we wanna sell on USD CAD is because of the this bearish uh, market. But now we've already hit support, which I've been talking about. We've hit support, and there's high chance, high chance that the market's gonna go towards the top side and continue this direction. So for me, no, no, no. Uh, if you're taking a buy here. If you're taking a buy, please be in the know that you are going to be having at least 50 pips of stop loss. 50 pips is something else. But, uh, then uh, if you're taking a sell, then your stop loss should be at least uh, 38 pips towards the downside. And then you're gonna expect that the market is still gonna break support, which is very bad. You don't you wanna expect that the market is gonna break support. And then another thing is the head and shoulders that we spoke about in Sunday, uh, you know, that is there. But hey, anyway, it's much better to sell high for me. It's much better to sell high. So this market can push at least to this zone. For me, it's much better to sell high, not to sell low because you're very low. Right? So, yeah.
So cool. That's that's all for today. Um, that's all for today, uh, guys. That's all for today. I will be discussing the trade with the international school of traders. Um, more trades. Um, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, please do remember that in those bank this Saturday at half past eight a.m. Uh, till half past three. Uh, if you are not added on the WhatsApp group, uh, on the WhatsApp group for this coming Saturday, meaning that you are not booked. Okay. If you are not added on the WhatsApp group, meaning you are not booked. I'm looking for less than ten people, then uh, spend the whole day. All day, I'm going to be on your neck, I'm going to be on your ears, eyes. If you can't move your mouse, I'll be telling you, this is how you move your mouse. This is how you, you must do, you must trade. You must trade. This add me on your WhatsApp group, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So on, on this one, uh, guys, um, okay, it is a paid for service. So uh, this is Huawei Peace Month. It is a paid for service. Uh, so if you are talking to those who are, you know, who are in the International School of Traders who, who are still yet to join this coming week, uh, we are, are going to be having that uh, session. So um, it is a paid service. And we pay for the, you know, everything that we do there. Uh, so it, it is a paid service. Unfortunately, uh, the there should come a time where you are charged for something. Uh, I've never seen free money. Uh, uh, never. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. If you are seeing this as a recorded session, uh, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals. It's your, oh, hello, hi, Lerato. I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals, it's one and only. Shalom.